Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York City with Vampire Dave once again. As well, he uh, gets his poor little camera touched for filming what he's not supposed to be filming to begin with. You know, Davey, you should be more careful with what you film because some people might take exception to how you act and how you portray yourself on the streets. I mean, come on now dude i'm surprised you haven't ended up in a a lot more confrontations like this so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show i'm okay thank you yeah no you can start recording what, what is what's the worst about recording in the, car, in the car what's your name officer barnes and your badge number 17944 nice to meet you nice to meet you too what's your name guy Hmm? Guy? Guy what? Freeman? Oh, come on now, Vampire Dave. you got to have a better pseudonym than that because who wants to see a vampire named uh, Guy Freeman? I mean, it, it just doesn't sound man of the night or anything of that nature. I mean, who wants to be bitten by a vampire that's named Guy? I mean, but who wants to be bitten by a vampire anyway? But anyway, yeah, still not very intimidating, dude. You're happy to record inside the car for what? You stop eating a pizza to come talk to me for what? Yeah, because I dropped off some kids. That's what's up. Yeah, okay. And I see some stranger recording in a car, so I got to ask some questions for you. Recording in public is strange. When you're recording a car, when I've got kids coming in and out of the car, it's kind of weird to me. I don't see no kids here. The kids right there. How am so I do supposed me to know? Can you leave? I'm okay. I'm on the sidewalk. I don't give a shit if you're on the sidewalk. Why are you cursing? I don't feel like it. Have a good day. Okay, you too. All right. You too. Oh, I didn't know there were going to be kids around. Uh, well, dude, that's a distinct possibility at times when you're filming police vehicles because who knows, they may be transporting kids around because, well, cops do have kids, you dumbass. And some of them, like this guy, well, my, they might take exception to the fact that you're trying to film their children. Oh, uh, yeah, so you might want to be careful with that. You never know what kind of people are out there. You want to curse in front of the kids too? I'm going to ask you a question. I curse in front of you. Are what? you going to curse in front of them too? You I don't give a fuck because they're inside the car right now. Yeah. You having fun, right? I'm telling them out of my business. Me I didn't too. come up to you. You came up to me. You came up you to me in the car. Up, I came up to the car. Listen, have a good night, all right? Don't touch me. Give me a card. Nope. Give me a card. Tyrant. Listen, just do me a favor, okay? Don't touch me, bro. Listen, I'm just trying to help you out. Help you out. Why do you not record? Me? Do not record me when I'm with my kids. All right? Don't tell me what to do. I'm gonna tell you what to do. Don't record the call. Don't me. tell me what to do. You know, smart ass. You really should take this as a lesson. Never get in between a man or his children. Never. Well threaten his children, never try to do anything to his children, because the results of your actions could be so much worse than a broken camera. Do you get that, you complete douche canoe? You a bitch. You a bitch. And I was just talking about how my privacy screen, my privacy screen is cracked. Now it's even more cracked. Let's go inside and file a complaint. Let's talk to the sergeant. That's why I need my tripod back. Smacked my phone out of my hand. Then walked away. What's that officer's name that was in that car just now? The one that just dropped off those kids? Him, it was a male and a female? There was a, a an African American, I'm presuming. Is your sergeant? Tall, dark skin, cross eyed. Cross eyed. Overweight. Uh, I 
I'm sorry, I didn't know this. Is your sergeant here that I can speak to, please? So let me get this straight. You want to file a complaint against that officer because you were acting like a total smart ass around his children, and he uh, will put you back in line like you should be put back in line. Uh, yeah, if I were the sergeant, yeah, I would laugh in your freaking face should I uh, see what happened. But you know what? The sergeant is way too busy to even take a look at your complaint. And, uh, well, Davy boy here is just going to go outside, whine, cry, and complain some more. So let's catch up on that, and then we will call it on this video. Man, this guy's an idiot. Yo, I wanted to hook on him, bro. Oof. Oof. I wanted to hook him, bro. Oh. Oh, my Lord. Ooh, he's a bitch. He's getting exposed, bruh. No, I would say the only one that ever got exposed here was you for the whiny little punk that you are. You whine, cry, and complain about this, but yet you're the one that caused it. But hey, you know what? That's what I've come to expect out of these frauditors. They don't take responsibility for their own actions. I mean, you opened your smart mouth and, uh, well, you paid the price for it. Now take your medicine like an adult, and move on. But he won't ever do that. No, no, no. It's always got to be somebody else's fault, right? So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?